what is happening dark horse sports cards here on youtube welcome back to our channel you've got silver sage and brody back with another fun rip today we're jumping right back into prism basketball today with a little mix up we're gonna do two nba basketball prism boxes and two nba basketball prism monopoly boxes today and sage i gotta tell you right now Target has a crazy sale that I had to take advantage of because Monopoly is technically not in the sports cards department of Target and it's technically in the toys and board games. They are doing a buy one, get 50% off toys and board games. So you're able to buy one blaster for $30 and get the other blaster for 15 wow. which is an insane deal to be able to get a blaster like this for just $22. Uh, very, very good deal. So, so we're going to I was just going to up... say, Target, if you're listening, cut out that oh, loophole boy. immediately. We got ours. We're done. Do not end that sale now. In that sale, no one else is allowed to get that sale. So we're gonna open. Uh, we're gonna open two and two and uh, see which one did better. Uh, me and Sage will give our vote of what ones we thought were better. These are actually a little more expensive. These normally retail uh, upwards of like thirty five dollars, I think. And I think right now on secondhand market, these are probably going for like forty five. These are kind of hard to find right now out in the wild. So these probably have a little bit of an advantage yeah. being a little bit more expensive. But if you actually look on the back, the amount of uh, number cards on here, not a lot. You can pull, let me actually rip this real quick so you guys can see this a little better. You can pull autographs in here as well as uh, numbered cards. You're also looking for uh, the red seismic, blue seismic, and green pulsar prisms that are blaster exclusive. We're also going to get three of the ice prisms on here. But if you look on the back, you really only have uh, what the numbers I just told you, the red seismic blue and green pulsar. That's really the only numbers that you're going for, where if you compare that to Monopoly, there are a lot more number options here. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, and I think yeah. that's how it is because normally you have a hobby box which i'm very glad we didn't do a prism hobby box because oh that has gosh, not worked dude, out for I'm many so people happy. we passed on that i was like uh if, Bro if brody talks me yeah, into it you kind of wanted hey, to hey let me well, say you i was open to it if brody talks me into it you shut me down immediately and i was very glad no, but you, you did. had a good idea yeah you had a good idea you initially were like okay well what if we get a couple people to buy into this box yeah so that way it's not as expensive, but we're still able to open it on the channel. Yeah. Which would have been cool. But they didn't but I even, still like I call my brother Cole, they were like, no, no. <laughs> they were not even interested. <laughs> okay. That makes me feel better because even at like the two fifty or whatever it was gonna be, I was like, Sage, we're still gonna lose all our money. Yeah. <laughs> like we're we're not making any of our money. But anyways, right, here we go. What, we a rookie. The final point I was making yeah. is in the hobby boxes, you get all of the parallels. This Monopoly is the hobby box, so they have to include everything. There's no hobby box. Mm. It's it. So all the parallels come in the blasters, which is awesome. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I got to be honest with you, Sage. I personally like ripping the Monopoly, even though the value is less, right? A base Monopoly, Victor, 30 to $40. Yeah where a base prism victor is a hundred or something so it is way less i gotta tell you though i love ripping monopoly i absolutely do i love it so much Ooh. all right we have our first green here these i don't think are insanely rare i always have to check these aren't really crazy the glitter are the ones that are a little bit more the greek rare. freak Ooh, nice color match though that's nice put that aside did you ever know I did a uh, I did a commercial? You know, we're, we got March Madness. I did a commercial for Werner Ladders, which is the official ladder for March Madness, in the Milwaukee Bucks Stadium. If you haven't tried a Werner Podium, you don't know what you're missing. Sweet. It's a new style of ladder. 
changing job sites and weekend projects everywhere. Let's go! Now available in sizes from 3 to 10 feet. Now you can work facing any direction. The podium gives you what you're looking for in a ladder. Feel extra secure. Get jobs done faster. Feel like you're standing on the ground on Werner's most comfortable ladder. Taking over job sites everywhere, the Werner Podium is now available with models for pros and do-it-yourselfers. Climb a podium and see what safety feels like. The Werner Podium, now the official ladder of the NCAA Basketball Championships. See more at WernerPodium.com. Yes, I did know that. So you know how if you guys are curious. You know how I knew that. Go back. I mean, you weren't there. That's correct. I was not there. Did you watch the commercial? I watched the commercial, but oh, and you were there for the final four, though. As part of you doing that commercial, you got some tickets. Oh, you got some tickets you. for you and a friend, and you took me on that trip. I'm forever grateful for that. Oh, three rookies back to back to back here. That was a sick trip. That was and uh, Andre Jackson Jr. Is this worth anything on the let, ice? Let me check. Sage. And we saw live oh, one of the greatest buzzer beaters in oh, finals history, oh, if not God. the greatest. Is insane. It was incredible. Uh, yeah, go look that up. YouTube.com slash Brody. That's my uh, main YouTube channel where I do all my Frisbee trick shots and all that stuff. I do a bunch of disc golf videos on there as well. But I think that I think that video is on there. What's that? What's that guy's Andre name again? Shots. Jackson. Uh, this is going to be Andre Jackson Jr. Andre? I'm going to go ahead and say that's a two dollar and fifty cent card. Two dollar and fifty cent card. We have a Ra Rupert Ryan Rupert. Wow. A Nick. Smith Jr. You can buy it for two dollars fifty nine cents free ship. So you were nine cents off. Pretty, pretty much right on. Obviously. Hey, for all those people in the comments saying that we don't know anything about basketball, <laughs> take it, take it back right now. Uh, Almost nailing it on the dog. Yeah. Uh, all right, Dante. Well, look, Alan Iverson, since you brought it up, let Kevin me address Durant. let me address the comment. I think it's okay that we're not experts okay. and we're trying to learn and trying to have fun. And we don't proclaim to know every player and watch every game. We're tr we love sports cards. Yeah. We're, we love the Wemby Chase. We love Brandon Miller, uh, and we love opening packs. So, yeah, I was gonna say if you if you want to watch people open packs that know every single statistic about every player. Uh, you're going to have to come and watch us open disc golf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's probably, that's probably only other sport. I would say baseball is probably number two is Sage. He probably knows a lot about that. Yeah. And then football is probably our third. But still, even then, like if we are big fans of the sports, there's a good chance we have a lot of general knowledge on veteran players and not all the rookies. So we're all trying to learn and, you know, shout out to you and Kelsey, you guys, have come a long way and you guys know a Kelsey's lot knowledge is insane yeah, Kelsey's knowledge is very so, surprising also i don't know if you noticed that we were kind of talking throughout the whole time which is probably a good sign <laughs> that box was absolute trash so monopoly's <laughs> now favored to pass it but i was gonna say hey if you want to talk if you want to watch experts that know every stat about every player come back in a year from now we'll be there at oh, the rate we're learning yeah. <laughs> Um, also, I have to show off a card. I haven't showed it on the channel yet. So oh, boy. I have to grab this card. Here we go. Um, this was, unfortunately, not opened. Oh, my gosh. Unfortunately, this card was not opened on camera. Oh, my gosh. That's the number um, one rule you cannot ever break, Brody. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I, I broke the rule, and I feel absolutely terrible about it. Uh, but I have a good reason of why I broke the rule. So I, I will explain myself of why this was not shown on camera. So I was at a disc golf tournament and normally I'm staying with a handful of my uh, friends who also are on tour. And I was kind of explaining to them like what, you know, what sports cards are and all that stuff. And I was like, I actually have a box. Like, do you want me just to open a, a pack? 
just so you can see. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So I got a box. I was just going to open up one pack and literally in the first pack of Prison Monopoly. So beautiful. We pulled this out of 149, a pink Wimby. That's a big centered card. Centered beautifully, absolutely centered beautifully. And this will be heading out to PSA, honestly, probably tomorrow. That's a big card. Is is probably when that thing will be sent out. So we looked it up. It's like selling raw anywhere from his numbers are all over the place, but selling raw anywhere from like five hundred to six hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, and the I think so, the variance of some of those raw ones are as if it's way off centered. Mm-hmm. When you get to these type of cards, centering a corner really matters, and it can drastically change uh, the the comp of a card compared to a smaller card that's five to seven dollars. People are buying those; they're not examining it. But you better believe if you're bidding six hundred and twenty-five dollars on an auction, you've checked to see if the card is centered, <laughs> if it's raw. Yes. Yes. So it's in great condition. All right, Julius, if, if that gets a PST ten, that's going to be a massive card. Oh, that's a that's a four-digit card. Oh my gosh, us. that's probably our second four-digit card behind the strap. Yep. Um, all right, Julius Randall is going to be our first silver here. Jordan Hawkins. Ooh. Uh, we get another Nick Smith Jr. And a Chet on the back. This is a much faster rip, too. It feels a lot faster because there are only four cards per pack. Where these, I think... What are you getting these? 20... Oh, there's only four cards, too. Why does that feel... I don't know. It feels like there's more cards. All right, we get our first purple here. Here we go. A Wimby, Wimby purple... Goes for quite a quite a good margin too. Cavs. Gonna be Evan Mobley on the purple for us. Okay. I think we're saving potentially our best boxes for last save. Yeah, it's a good strategy. We have uh we have yet to hit anything worth mentioning. Jimmy Butler will be the other purple wave. Two packs left here. Here we go. Come on. Come on. When are, uh, when are you and Allie going to be ripping some basketball or maybe some football? I've, I've seen some comments asking. Oh, there's Ooh, a high we'll day. take that. You yeah, get a nice little high Yeah, day. I got a couple of blasters which just wait and call my name. And, uh, Ooh. Blasters of what? Of uh, some prison football. Ooh. So prison thinking football. about that. But, uh, you know, I got a mound of – of baseball cards. We just did some uh, baseball openings and got some videos loaded up. So looking forward to that. Yeah, those videos will be coming out soon. And if you see any cards on here that you guys like, they will most likely, that was one of the worst Monopoly blasters I've ever opened. Back-to-back terrible blasters. That means these are going to be good. But if we do end up pulling anything good from these, they will be up on our eBay. Yep. So check that out in the description down below. All of those cards if will be on eBay watching. for free. You just have to pay for shipping. Yes. yes. These will be free <laughs> cards. Um, and also, hey, Sage, we didn't even really mention this. We hit 7,000 subscribers. Buddy. Yeah, that's amazing. We're already over 7,000. That's insane. Yeah. We started this January. Uh, we started this channel in January. Yeah. When we first... And we're closing in on 10,000 subs already. You guys are nuts. Yeah. Maybe maybe when we get to like, if we get to 10,000, uh, we can do more of an in-depth of how this all started and kind of a recap of where we're at and financial breakdown. We'll figure something out. And we got to do some sort of good giveaway too. Yeah. we. I mean, obviously for 10K, you have to do one. Yeah. Uh, 100K is the big, big one. Oh That's gosh. the one where... where where YouTube actually sends you a plaque. Yes. And um, you you already have yeah. a plaque, so I get the next plaque. It's only fair. I've got I've got I've actually got a couple. <laughs> yeah, okay. Plaques. Even more. Even more reason. I got a couple plaques, and I and I have a gold play button. All right. I'm for sure. Oh. Uh, I'm for sure getting the pack. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you you can get it. No, I we started this channel not knowing what to think or 
or what, and we appreciate the support. And if you're uh, not subscribed, it means a lot. It's free. Go ahead and click it. We started this channel really honestly not even knowing what what we were doing. That's true. I mean, I was I was buying everything I could see. I was buying just every absolute box I saw. One of our first boxes just was absolutely. we bought like a 325 Panini Black NFL and it was worth <laughs> – we lost like $295 of the 325 instantly. <laughs> You're like, what have, what have we done? <laughs> we, we, and then we, we thought the Topps Chrome Black was the greatest box yeah. ever and we were slamming that box. Hit. Yeah, that was that was a mistake. Yeah. Not not a smart idea starting off and just like buying hundred dollar hobby boxes. We definitely should have started with some maybe fat packs. Yeah, we to get a little bit of. An we idea. opened like a seven hundred fifty dollar Bowman Chrome baseball or Bowman Draft baseball box, and we had like sixteen <laughs> views on it. Yeah, we had we had fifty subscribers. We we're like, let's open a thousand dollar. It's just because I we just loved it. I was loved it. I was like, I got to teach you about baseball, and I was like, who are all these guys? I can't even teach Brody. <laughs> I mean, realistically, too, if we didn't have YouTube, we'd probably be opening a lot of this, or just not as the at the volume. Right. We'd still be opening a lot, just not nearly at the volume. Sage, we got potentially some of the worst boxes here, yeah. brother. I'm glad we're t telling stories I mean, and having. I mean, I have no idea of what. I don't think we pulled a single card decent from either one of those uh, prison boxes there. I haven't seen it. Monopoly's got to save us. All we right. got. We got to get something weird here. Got to get something weird. Something weird. We've pulled a couple of really cool short prints. We've got um, one of our last prison monopoly videos. I think we uploaded. We pulled that uh, handshake deal, LeBron James, so which was nice. We pulled um, another handshake deal of Jalen Brunson, a, a couple running monopolies, which were nice. But uh, this video right now, it needs something, Sage, because yeah. we've got two cards back there on the showcase. Yeah, I've got five stands. We need some red. Three empty stands. Red icons. They have the craziest parallels in here. Let's get something. Purple Wave. Purple Wave Wimby will definitely count. Oh, okay. Hey, not the. I'm that, just. That's going up. Yeah, that's for sure on the stand. That's, <laughs> that's going up. Cam Whitmore on the purple wave. Cam Whitmore is going up there. That might be our best. That probably is our best card so far. It's like a five dollar, six dollar card. Yep. It's going up there though. All right, Joel Embiid leads us off this pack. This looks like it's going to be an all base pack with, yep, all base pack there. Amen or Amen? How do you like to pronounce it? <laughs> if I said, if I had to say his name right to his face, I would just say Amen. I would say I'm not trying to get too cute with it. I'd say, hey, man. <laughs> and for me. You wouldn't know. Okay, back to back all base pack, Sage. What does that mean? That means there's that mean a big one. A banger coming? Oh, yeah. Is that what that Something means? Something weird. Something weird. It's a purple. Ooh, nope. Mm. That's just going to be Jason Tatum. Here we go. Come on, Spurs. Oh! oh! <sighs> just to have Spurs on that. Then it's a shorter checklist in Monopoly, so you got a one of five chance after you see Spurs. Maybe even less. Yeah. I don't know how many Spurs are even in here. Uh, yeah, not that many. Oh, that's that was crude. the first time I've ever pulled Devin Vassell. All right, we do have a silver on the back here. Okay. Could be a redeeming factor. Come on. Uh, okay, Mr. Poole. Uh, all right, Sage, we've made it to the final pack. This might go down. As one of the worst. There's no winner here. Two losers. No. <laughs> this, this. Oh! <laughs> I, reverse jinxes are real, baby. Let's go! That is a little bit of redemption there. All right. A little bit of redemption there. Yes. Oh, that is a much needed, much needed sight of Victor. 
We are about to go four boxes without seeing them, which is not crazy. I wouldn't be like, wow, dude, we didn't pull one victor out of four boxes. But four boxes, no victor, and then also like no other yeah. really cards. That would have been a sad, sad sight. Right. So we have a winner. Last pack. Shout out to all the people that made it to the last pack because you guys were able to see that. Wow. I think these are going to be base. And that is uh that's gonna do it right there, Sage. We did it. We we pulled a last second victor at the buzzer. Dang. Is that is that uh have we had any like last pack magic like that before? On the very last pack? Um, that's epic. I think we've pulled some good stuff on the last pack, but not at that not to this extent. To save the whole thing in the last pack. That's insane. Yes. That is uh, super, super helpful for sure. Yes. Um, what do you think we attack next? What, what, what is, like, I think we're just waiting for more basketball products to come out. We're right? waiting like, for the it's been pretty... Prism Hobby Box to tank in value and we snag one of those for a hundred <laughs> bucks. <laughs> I did. Now, it hasn't come in yet. I did get the if you remember the prism retail football with the black and white checkers, yes. I got that for basketball, but I don't know. I don't think the black and white checkers are, I don't think that's going to be what it is for basketball. I'm not sure what it is, but I got one of those. So that will be coming in at some point. We will be ripping it here on the channel. Love it. I just, I don't, I just don't know what that's going to look like, but got a lot of a, a lot of bulk is what we got here. Sage. Yes. A lot of bulk, um, which we might have a video coming soon of what the heck do you do with all your bulk cards? Yes, we've been well, Sage, we've been going Sage back and break that down. We've been you. going back and forth with a lot of ideas. Uh, we want to get your guys' take soon. So, all right, well that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Victor for saving this video. Last pack, he pulls it out. We appreciate always seeing Victor on this channel. We hope to see him a lot more in the future. And we hope to see you guys a lot more in the future right here on Dark Horse Sports Cards. Until then, keep ripping them packs.